Welcome back to the Emporium, everybody. My name is Bubba, and you're watching Disney Channel. Ba -da -ba -ba. What's up, y'all? On today's episode, we're going to be taking care of some Envision enclosures and making some naturalistic leopard gecko enclosures. So these are going to be really awesome. Shout out to Vision for sending this over. Uh, Mark Beaver and the team were absolutely phenomenal to work with and such a pleasure that you guys would even like, think of us. Got the racks in the background. We have those uh, naturalistic in a sense and these are just how you should do it at home. Don't cut any corners. Let's get this started. If you couldn't tell already, I was super excited to start these builds that I kind of jumped the gun. Here's what I'm using for a substrate but I also forgot to include the probe for the heat pads that we will be utilizing in these enclosures to give the appropriate temperatures that the leopard geckos need. Call me an alien because I'm about to get this thing probed. Just kidding, that's kind of gross. I'm using some aluminum foil tape to secure this probe down so it gives accurate readings to the thermostat to make sure that the heating pad gives appropriate temperatures for the leopard geckos and doesn't get kicked around because leopard geckos do love to dig and burrow. Um, it's kind of a naturalistic behavior that you're not gonna be able to see if they're just on paper towel their whole lives. These Vision enclosures are model 211 and they have a light source coming directly from in the middle. This is how we have the heat mat. So I'm setting up a couple of these hides to accurately give a cool area, a hot spot, and a human hide. Um, the gecko will definitely just do what he wants, kind of create a little habitat of its own. But I'm also using um, kind of depth. Um, scale and building it up so it does look more naturalistic instead of just a flat barren area. This will give you some depth of perception and make your enclosures stand out that much more. Also one of the main goals of these videos is to show that these vision enclosures have the duality of both being able to build custom enclosures like this where they look totally natural at the end but also have the ability to establish animals and keep it super sanitary, lightweight, and minimalistic to make sure that you're hitting all the animal's needs and requirements before creating something as elaborate as this. And by the end, hopefully you'll be able to see that they definitely have the potential to be able to do both exceptionally well. At this point, it's all fine details. I'm throwing in a little bit of pebbles here and there to make those rocks look like they belong together, adding a little bit more foliage and sticks to give it more depth and a naturalistic feel. Um, this is just all fine details, making sure my ball placement is going to be good and just the cream on the top of the cake spraying it down setting everything in a little excavator goes a long way to hold that substrate down just a little bit longer sphagnum moss in the back and a little leaf litter And if it wasn't obvious already, none of these videos coming out would have been possible without our excellent sponsor, Vision and Custom Cages, sending us these awesome enclosures to build up for you guys to showcase the duality of being able to build something like these in a Vision cage. And honestly, it was such a privilege. This is a Jurassic Park themed enclosure, if you couldn't tell by now. Coyote mandible on the side, you got a snapping turtle above. And this is a humid box that we print and hide, so this leopard gecko is going to be right at home in this awesome little enclosure that we were able to whip up. If 
Coyote Peterson was a leopard gecko, he'd probably live in something like this. Last but certainly not the least, this is an enclosure for our western hognose snake, Betty White. All the animals will be placed into these beautiful habitats in the next video. So make sure you are subscribed with that notification bell on so you don't miss the next content that's about to drop. Like me walking you through how to make these 3D backgrounds to make your enclosures at home come to life. You've reached the end of the video. Those little octagons you saw us place on the side of the enclosures and the top were sent to us by Blue Arc Reptile and 5% of their profits actually go back into wildlife conservation. What a great product and a great uh, company. And once again, none of this would have been possible without our sponsors, Vision and Custom Cages. Thank you guys so much.